the best improvement you can have to your Google Analytics is to connect your CRM system. Welcome to the Intelligent Marketing Integrations. My name is Pavel Titov, and I'm founder of Formsable. In this video, I'll talk about how to connect sales from CRM system, close deals from CRM system with Google Analytics and have Google Analytics to report uh, sales per channel correctly. And the trickiest part of that that we'll cover in this video is attributing sales that happen in CRM to the website visitors that are tracked by Google Analytics. And this really is the important part that because as long as, long as you're able to tell which of the uh, sales made in CRM corresponds to which uh, visitor or user, how Google Analytics call them, on a website. At this point, Google Analytics becomes able to report and you could go into any of the Google Analytics reports and see what sales each channel, each source, each medium has actually produced later on in your CRM. And all, not only works with CRMs, it also works with uh, subscriptions or any similar scenarios where the sale actually happening kind of offline, so it's not happening synchronously, it doesn't happen within the same browser session. So in this video, first I'll talk about uh, what data integration options Google Analytics provides, and I'll talk about two possible, different possible implementations, uh, with one being a custom integration that speaks to Google Analytics uh, measurement protocol, and the other is using an uh, available uh, service that does attribution and data integration such as Formsable. Google Analytics offers an API that's called the Measurement Protocol. And this API allows to send sales into Google Analytics. And then they start to appear in e-commerce reports and they also appear in all, in any of the general reports. Uh, and they can be used to, uh, as part of a goal setup or they can be used directly by. So any Google Analytics report if you change uh, goal display to the uh, to the e-commerce display, starts to display actual number of e-commerce e conversions and number of sales. To do that, they have to be attributed. And there are two general ways to do this. One is to do a proprietary integration where you somehow sa save uh, Google Analytics uh, customer a user identifier where when the user interacts with the website and associate it with the user in your CRM, and then. Uh, keep track of what's happening in the CRM and integrate on your own to the Google Analytics uh, measurement protocol, sending those, uh, those sales. A slightly easier way is to use an off-the-shelf service like a Formsable. And the way it works is Formsable keeps track when the visitor first comes to the website and when the visitor navigates throughout the website, it keeps track of the uh, where the visit com came from, but most importantly, it keeps track of Google Analytics user identifier that's used by Google Analytics to identify visitor or uh, to be more precise, to identify visitor's browser. Uh, so Formsable saves it, but it also saves any user interactions such as filling a lead form, registering on the website, or any user interaction when any uh, details that led to identify the customer became known. And at this point, Formsable keeps uh, that association between, between the user ID for Google Analytics and between the user's customer's email or customer's uh, phone or any, 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 any similar parameters, or it doesn't have to be personal information. It, you know, you could, you, you could use, it could use uh, your internal customer identifier, for, for example. And then the other part of that equation that Formsable does is it goes into your CRM and either constantly pulls it every you know, couple of times in an hour or use the webhook to get all sales that happen in CRM, to get all closed deals that happen in CRM. And as soon as there's a new closed deal, it checks its database where it stored that association data, which of the website visitors did the transaction. And then once it's known, and once it's attributed, it gets the full attribution chain, so from closed deal to the customer, to the lead, to the lead's email, and to back to the visitor's ID, and then sends it to the Google Analytics API, and it just works. It instantly displays it in the reports. So in terms of setup required, the first step you have to do is to go to Google Analytics and choose admin tab, open admin tab, and select uh, 
property settings. And the first property setting that Google Analytics shows would be Google Analytics property ID, which identifies your website or uh, sometimes a uh, single property might be used to track several websites, which identifies that uh, entity under which Google Analytics tracks your visitors. Uh, save it somewhere. The next step is to go to the Forms Able user interface, open a credential settings, and add a new credential. Select Google Analytics as a service, and measurement protocol doesn't require any authorization. So I would just put the uh, property ID from Google Analytics into the field called uh, access token. Enter any name that you could use to identify this uh, property of this website in, in, the, in the Forms Able user interface into, into the name field and save it. Once this is done, go into outgoing integration, outgoing uh, tab, and add a new outgoing integration. Select Google Analytics service. Select uh, type of the type of the event you want to send to Google Analytics, which would be purchase in this case, and save it. And this is all that's required to track all your uh, new sales, all deals that will be closed in the CRM from now on. Uh, Formsable will find out, will attribute them to website visitors and send that information to Google Analytics. So the Google Analytics reports will now be showing your sales. So to recap this video, what we've spoken about is how Google Analytics tracks e-commerce transactions, how Google Analytics tracks sales, and how you can connect sales, uh, attribute sales to the Google Analytics visitors and connect them to Google Analytics API so that they are now reported. The other part was two different options. Option number one is you could create a proprietary application that sends that sales, attributes them, some internal algorithm attributes them to Google Analytics user IDs and sends that to measurement protocol API. Or you could use a Formsable web service to, which does it out of the box.